Hey there, so today we have another unboxing and this is courtesy of Jeff from Vermont. And as you, what is he on? Anyway. Always excited, Professor Darwin Go Esquire. <laughs> That's what he writes on as <laughs> the sending. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys don't already know, uh, Jeff is fantastic. He's from Vermont. Um, he has been a very generous donor to this channel, especially with the art as well, uh, that we do plan on putting up at some point. Jeez, I gotta figure that one out. And now working full time, you know? So quarantine time was time to Anyway, really appreciate Jeff. Uh, sent us a bunch of Vermont stuff recently, so wow. What's going on over here? Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Double Rwaka. So um, Rwaka is actually a hop that uh, Sean Hill seems to uh, really like. I think it's one of the hops in Susan, one of my favorite beers from Hill Farmstead. And this is double version of that, uh, double IPA with um, using hop Rwaka. Awesome, can't wait. And I really appreciate it, Jeff. Um, just like sending these multiples, like, you know, just to get a lot of enjoyment out of, out of beers. Uh, this is another trip around from Foam Brewing. So Foam is out of Burlington, Vermont, literally in downtown, by, right by the water. So uh, one of the breweries early on when they opened, I really enjoyed, again, the double examples. I really appreciate it. What else we got? Two. Well. Kay's gonna appreciate it. I got tons of like, massive. oh yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, this was bottled six months ago. Anyway, if you guys don't already know, Anna's probably one of my favorite beers of all, no, one of my favorite beers of all time. Um, a lot of people talk about how Farmstead, how great they are, blah, blah. Um, the, the, the Farmstead slash farmhouse beers that he does are just like some of my favorite. Anna is, it's up there, yeah. I mean, some people prefer Arthur. Anna is probably my favorite. Yeah. So this is a uh, uh, Vermont Honey Ale is what he calls it. So, um, you know, he's doing 6.2%, sort of his really interesting kind of like um, yeast profile and just like delectable beer, selling this out of the brewery at uh, $10. Uh, maybe it's higher now, but $10 out of the brewery for, you know, and, and like unlimited volume, like, in my opinion, uh, quality to austerity or austere qualities of this beer, um, I don't think it's a better value slash better beer you can buy from a brewery. It, it is um, just absolutely amazing. I'm just like fawning over it. So um, it's been a minute since I've had Anna. Thank you so much, Jeff. I'm so excited for this one. And what are these? What are these? So uh, this is... <laughs> This is Edward with an expiration. Wow, the expiration is in three days. Holy smokes. So, strangely enough, uh, one of the things that I actually thought about early on is that Hill Farmstead would never can. Like something about like seeing these sexy bottles all the time. He's only doing growlers, blah, blah, but he ended up canning, which was like such a crazy thought for me. Again, this is coming from someone who was uh, visiting brewery back in, geez, 20, 2013, 2014, 2014, you know, like six years ago. And I, it, it just seemed like a brewery that was like stuck on growlers and just doing these kind of like pretty bottles and all that thing. You know, cans were not a thing back then. You know, the the the, the tree houses, the tree house wasn't canning back then. Um, you know, like uh, Trillium wasn't even canning back then. Other half had come in, you know, in 2014, 15, and wasn't even doing New England IPAs until years later. So it's just a crazy idea that, you know, they finally started canning beer. And now they've canned a beer. Edward, I guess he considers to be a, I guess a delicate beer that um, he didn't want to print a label for. And obviously through COVID-19, I guess the tap room's out. I don't know what reason is behind it, but we have blank labels of Edward. Super secret, super interesting. Um, Hill Farm said printing out, pumping out a blank can. So I need to uh, dig into these beers. This one actually fell off. So I got a four pack of Edward. What else about in here? Anything else? All right, I think that's it. Thank you so much, Jeff. I really, I just want to make sure. I really appreciate it. This is absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, this, anyway, uh, thank you so much, Jeff. Edward and Double Rwaka, some foam brewing, Vermont love. Until next time, guys, cheers. Can't wait, later.